Hi, my name is Helena Sheehan and I am vodcasting here for Biolog.ie and I'm going to have a look now at genetic crosses. And there are a few different types of genetic crosses. Let's look at a monohybrid cross first. So a monohybrid. Mono means one. A monohybrid cross means we are only looking at one characteristic. Mono, one. So in humans, brown eye colour is dominant to blue eye colour. So let's do a cross then. Let's say we'll cross a heterozygous brown-eyed female with a blue-eyed male. Okay, so we have brown and we have blue. Now first of all, we need to figure out which of these is dominant and the question is after telling us. So brown eyes are dominant over blue eyes. Therefore, we're going to give brown a capital B because it is the dominant trait. Dominant means that if you have that gene, whether in the heterozygous or the homozygous condition, if you have the dominant gene, it will be expressed. Expressed means it will be shown. So when you actually look at that person, you will see they have brown eyes. And small b is going to be blue. OK, so we have a heterozygous brown-eyed female. OK, so heterozygous means different. Hetero means different. If you are heterosexual, it means you are attracted to a person of a different sex to you. So hetero is different. So, a heterozygous brown-eyed female, this means she has two different genes for eye colour, heterozygous. Big B, small b. Of course, when you look at this female, you will see brown eyes because she has the brown-eyed gene. And the brown-eyed gene will mask the presence of the blue-eyed gene. We won't see, we won't know that we have it when we look at her. These are our parents. Now I'm going to draw the chromosomes for every cross. I know some of you find it easier this way. And we have a blue-eyed male, which means he has two small b's. He has two blue-eyed genes, because if we put a big B in there, he would not be blue-eyed, he would be brown-eyed. So we don't have a big, blue, a big B in there. He is blue-eyed, so two small b's. They are the parents. Now when we're looking at a monohybrid cross, we're looking at one trait, therefore there will be two chromosomes drawn because we always have two genes for every trait. We get one from our mom and one from our dad. So now let's have a look at the gametes. Okay, and I want to just jot down over here, NB. Gametes always have half the number of chromosomes so if we just move over here for a minute I'm going to think I've drawn this diagram a few times in these vodcasts but it's an important concept if we take a sperm cell of a human it has 23 chromosomes and if we combine that with an egg cell of a human that also has 23 chromosomes. When the two of them combine we get a zygote which has 46 chromosomes. Okay, now remember this egg and sperm cell. The sperm cell came from a male who originally had 46 chromosomes in his cells and a female who originally had 46 chromosomes. So these are the parents and in the body cells, the somatic cells of the parents, there are 46 chromosomes. But this male produced sperm cells by meiosis, which had half the number of chromosomes, 23. And this female produced egg cells, which had half the number of chromosomes, 23. So here are our gametes. And it's important that we produce sperm and egg cells that have half the number of chromosomes as the original cell so that when they combine, 
the new generation, the new individual, has the full set of chromosomes. So this would be our F1 generation if we were doing a genetic cross. So back to our cross. So NB, gametes always have half the number of chromosomes. So if we draw the gametes for this cell here, so we said this female had the gene for brown eyes and the gene for blue eyes. When she produces egg cells, there will be half the number of chromosomes in her egg cells. So we'll just take one chromosome out of there, because half of two is one, of course. So what we're saying here is that this female could very well produce an egg cell that has the brown-eyed gene in it. But we don't know. Maybe she will produce an egg cell with the blue-eyed gene in it. And therefore, we have to look at all possibilities. Now, she is going to reproduce with this male. And this male is homozygous for blue eyes, so he has two blue-eyed genes. Therefore, he can only produce one type of, of sperm cell with regard to eye colour. And his sperm cells will all be carrying the blue-eyed gene. So here, there is one chromosome in this gamete. There are two chromosomes in the parent because gametes have half the number of chromosomes as the parent cell. The F1 generation, or first filial gel generation, what we're going to do is we're going to take the first cell here and combine it with this cell here. And all we do is we put each of those chromosomes into this cell now. So we have big B, small b. But we don't know which egg cell this female produced. Was it an egg cell with a brown-eyed gene or a blue-eyed gene? So maybe she'll produce the blue-eyed egg cell. So we also combine that one with the sperm cell. And we put those two chromosomes in a cell together. And we get small b, small b. So what we're basically saying here is that with regard to eye colour, these are all the possibilities of children that these two individuals can produce. So we need to write down the genotypes. The genotype here is big B, small b, and here is small b, small b. Genotypes, that means the genes that the person has, or the, the, the new individuals have. And then we need to write down the phenotypes. And pH for phenotype. pH for physical. The phenotype is what these children will physically look like. So there's a big B and a small b. Big B is brown, small b is blue. Brown is dominant. So when we look at that individual, we will see brown eyes. When we look at this individual, we will see blue eyes. So they are the phenotypes. And you could be asked, what is the percentage chance of those two individuals having a blue-eyed child? So it's 50-50, isn't it? So there's a 50% chance that the child will be blue-eyed, and there's a 50% chance that the child will be brown-eyed in this case. Or you might be asked, what is the ratio of blue-eyed children to brown-eyed children? And the answer is 1 is to 1. OK, so that is a monohybrid cross. We're looking at one trait, which was eye colour. And I'll do another vodcast soon looking at two traits, a dihybrid cross.